the test of sacrifice, Genesis 22, 1 to 19, and Jubilee 1715 to 1819. On the twelfth day of the first month of the first year of the seventh centennium of this Jubilee, many voices in heaven were speaking about Abraham, that he loved the Lord and was faithful with everything that he told him to do, even in the face of affliction. So the prince Mastema came and said before God, Well, you know that Abraham loves his son Isaac, and he is proud of him above everything else. Tell him to offer his son as a burnt offering on the altar. Then you'll see if he will do this command, and you know if he is faithful in everything in which you test him. Now the Lord knew that Abraham was faithful despite all his afflictions caused by his trials from the Lord. The idolatry of his country, and with the famine, when he refused the wealth of kings, when his wife was torn from him, when he was made to be circumcised, and through Ishmael and Hagar, his maidservant, when he sent them away, and in whatever the Lord had tried him, Abraham was found faithful. His soul was not impatient, and he was not slow to act, because he was truly faithful lover of the Lord. So God tested Abraham and called him, Abraham, Abraham, he replied, Here I am. Then God said, Take your beloved son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the high country in the region of Moriah. Offer him up there as a whole burnt offering on one of the mountains I will point out to you. Abraham got up early the next morning and saddled his donkey. He took two of his young servants with him, along with his son Isaac. When he had split up enough wood for the burnt offering, he got up and went toward the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place afar off in the distance. When he came to a well, he said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there and worship. Then we'll come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac. He carried the torch and the knife in his own hands. As they were walking along together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father Abraham, Father? Yes, my son. Abraham replied, The fire and the wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? God himself will provide for himself the lamb for the whole burnt offering, my son, answered Abraham. The two of them continued on. They came to the place God had told him about, and Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it in order. Then he bound his son Isaac hand and foot and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Abraham then stretched out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. And I stood before him and before the prince Mastema, and the Lord said, Tell him not to lay his hand on the boy, nor to do anything to him, for I have shown that he fears the Lord. And so I called to him from heaven and said to him, Abraham, Abraham. And he was terrified and said, Here I am. And I said to him, Don't lay a hand on the boy or do anything to him. Now I have shown that you fear the Lord and have not withheld your son, your only firstborn son, from me. And the prince Mastema was put to shame. And Abraham lifted up his head and looked and saw a ram caught in a Sabek thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram, sacrificing it as a burnt offering in the place of his son. So Abraham called that place the Lord has sent, has seen, and will provide, that is, Mount Zion. And to this day it is said, on the Lord's mountain he has seen, and it will be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time, causing us to appear to him and say to him in the name of the Lord, This is the declaration of the Lord. I swear by myself that because you have done this thing, and have not without your son, your only beloved son, I will, lavish blessing, I will lavishly bless you and multiply you, your descendants greatly, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore. Your seed will possess the gates of his enemy, and through your offspring all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Because you have obeyed my voice, and I have shown to everyone that you are faithful to me with whatever I have commanded you. Go in peace. Then Abraham returned to his servants, and they got up and went to Beersheba together. 
And Abraham stayed in Beersheba and lived by the well of the oath. And he celebrated this festival every year, joyously for seven days. And he called it a festival of the Lord according to those seven days during which he went and returned in peace. And so it was ordained and written in the book of heaven that the descendants of Israel should observe this festival with a joy for seven days.